One of the great Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, advised us to start each day by contemplating the preciousness of life. He wrote that when you have trouble getting out of bed at dawn, remind yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain about if I'm going to do what I was born for, the things I was brought into the world to do? Or is this what I was created for, to huddle under the blankets and stay warm? How can we create a morning routine that reflects this ancient appreciation for existence? In this video, we will share stoic practices that can help you begin your day with peace and purpose. If you enjoy this video and want to support spreading stoic wisdom, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so and turning on the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. 1. Meditate on the impermanence of all things. A key aspect of Stoic philosophy is a deep awareness and acceptance of the fleeting nature of everything. Every morning, before the noise of the world distracts you, take some time to immerse yourself in this reality. Find a quiet spot where you can sit without interruption, ensuring your posture is relaxed but alert, a physical expression of the balance between tranquility and vigilance. Close your eyes and visualize the immensity of the cosmos Imagining stars being born and dying, galaxies spinning in the rhythm of eternity. In this cosmic dance, nothing lasts forever. Imagine zooming out to see the whole planet as a small speck in the vastness of space. Consider how this perspective affects your view of humanity's history, nature's majesty, and your own life. This exercise isn't meant to make you feel insignificant but to help you appreciate the beauty and fragility of your existence. Realizing how short and precious your time is allows you to focus on what truly matters and avoid wasting it on trivial things. This practice helps you start your day with a sense of purpose and gratitude. Instead of fearing death, celebrate life and make the most of it. As the philosopher Seneca said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. By meditating on impermanence each morning, you remind yourself to live each day fully and meaningfully. 2. Write down your thoughts. Keeping a diary is not just a way to document your life, but also a method of self-reflection, grounding, and healing. Writing down your thoughts can help you clarify, express, and transform them. Start by finding a diary that suits you. It can be a simple notebook, a fancy journal, or a digital app. This is your personal space where you can be honest and free from judgment. As you begin each morning, write down whatever comes to your mind, fragments of dreams, emotions from the previous day, or expectations for the day ahead. The first step is to clear your mind of distractions or worries, like sweeping away fallen leaves from a patio. Next, focus on gratitude. We often forget what we have and want more, but Stoicism teaches us to appreciate the present moment Write down three things you are truly grateful for, whether it's the comfort of your bed, the smile of a loved one, or the opportunity to start a new day. Beyond gratitude, reflect on yourself. Think about a stoic principle or a personal challenge. Ask yourself questions like, am I living according to my values? Where did I act on impulse instead of reason yesterday? How can I improve today? This isn't about judging yourself, but becoming more aware and growing. Finally, write an intention for the day, a simple statement or commitment based on stoic virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. This will be your moral compass, guiding your actions and decisions throughout the day. Remember, your journal is a mirror of your inner world. It's a tool, a friend, a mentor. Marcus Aurelius's meditation started as his personal journal. It was his way of applying Stoic principles, understanding his behavior, and dealing with life's complexities. 3. Write daily intentions, not goals. Goals and intentions shape our path in different ways. Goals focus on the future, on outcomes, achievements, and results. They give us direction. Intentions focus on the present, on the journey, our values, and the person we want to be. Stoic practice emphasizes the difference between what we can control and what we can't. Goals often depend on external factors that may be out of our control. Despite our best efforts, unexpected challenges can arise. Intentions, however, are within our power. 
They are daily expressions of our personal values, a conscious choice of how we want to live in the world, regardless of external circumstances. As you start your morning, after clearing your mind with journaling, think about the kind of day you want to have. Instead of focusing on tasks to be done, ask yourself, who do I want to be today? Do you want to be patient, accepting each moment as it is without rushing through it? Do you want to be compassionate with yourself and others, knowing that everyone has their own struggles? Or maybe you want to be brave, facing difficulties head on and stepping out of your comfort zone. Set some intentions for yourself, qualities to embody rather than goals to achieve. For example, you might say, I will be more mindful of my words today. I will seek to understand different perspectives, or I will find peace in the midst of chaos. These intentions are not meant to be ticked off a list, but to guide your actions and reactions throughout the day. As Seneca wisely said, it is not what you endure, but how you endure it. Intentions help you align your daily choices with your inner values. They help you measure your success not by what you accomplish, but by how you live, act, and respond in the world. They give you a clear sense of direction and purpose, regardless of the uncertainties of the day. 4. Embrace discomfort. Every morning, Another way to start your day is by embracing some discomfort. In our modern world, we often expect comfort and avoid pain. However, the Stoics knew that comfort could be a trap that prevents us from growing and learning. They practiced introducing small discomforts into their lives to strengthen their spirit, build resilience, and be ready for life's inevitable challenges. One Stoic philosopher suggested spending some days with the simplest and cheapest food and clothing saying this will prepare us better for the future. The idea was not to cause unnecessary suffering, but to break the dependence on external comforts and remind us of our inner power. When you start your day, think of small ways to embrace voluntary discomfort. Maybe take a cold shower to energize yourself and wash away any laziness. This act not only boosts your physical alertness, but also serves as a symbolic reminder of your ability to overcome and thrive or choose to skip that first cup of coffee, reminding yourself that your drive and motivation come from within, not from outside stimuli. You can also try more reflective practices, like setting aside 10 minutes to meditate on a past challenge, recognizing the strength you showed and the growth that came from it, or choose to walk or bike to work instead of driving, allowing yourself to be aware of your surroundings and embracing physical effort as a sign of your body's potential. The purpose here is twofold. First, these daily acts of discomfort serve as training for the mind and spirit, much like an athlete trains the body. By regularly stepping out of our comfort zones in small ways, we prepare ourselves for the bigger and unexpected challenges of life. Voluntarily exposing ourselves to some discomfort helps us appreciate the comforts we have and realize that they are not essential for our happiness or well-being. By choosing discomfort, we are not harming ourselves, but empowering ourselves. We tap into a deeper source of strength, let go of unnecessary attachments, and discover a sense of inner freedom that is independent of external conditions. 5. Practice Mindfulness and Meditation Mindfulness and Stoicism both emphasize the importance of our perceptions and the power of the present moment. Start your morning with a dedicated time for mindfulness or meditation, this doesn't mean you have to sit in a specific position or repeat certain words unless that works for you. It means centering yourself in the here and now. Find a quiet place and adopt a comfortable posture. Close your eyes and direct your attention inward. Start by simply observing your breath, feeling it go in and out. Let your thoughts and emotions come and go, imagining them as leaves on a stream or clouds in the sky. The key here is detachment. You are the observer, not the participant. This practice aligns well with the stoic focus on separating events from our judgments about them. Dedicate the last moments of your meditation to think about a stoic teaching or quote. For example, you can reflect on Amor Fati, or the love of fate. Amor Fati means to embrace every moment, every event, every challenge, and every victory as a gift, as the very essence of life. 
It is an invitation to not just accept, but love the circumstances life presents, whether joy or sorrow, success or failure. Starting your day with the practice of Amor Fati is an act of profound acceptance and gratitude. In your first moments of awareness, it is not a way to escape reality, but a way to love reality no matter how it appears. Amor Fati is a reminder that the present is a gift, and every moment is an opportunity for growth, learning, and connection. It is a deep practice that defies the twists of fate. Ultimately, Amor Fati is a brilliant source of stoic peace, guiding you to a life of acceptance, gratitude, and unconditional love for the present. By embracing this practice, you create mornings filled with a deep and radiant love for life, leading to a day of authenticity, purpose, and virtue. I trust you found this video enjoyable, and I extend my gratitude for your presence. Our exploration of Stoic morning rituals provides the potential for enhancing your mornings, steering your days, and fundamentally altering your life. Keep in mind that every fresh sunrise presents a chance to welcome life with thankfulness, bravery, and affection. See you in our next video.